Okay, this is a video about the domain and range of a function. So the domain are the set of values you can put in a function. They're normally along the x-axis here. So the domain of this particular function, 2x plus 1 with a restricted domain, is from minus 2 to 2, sorry, to 3, minus 2 to 3. Now these circles are closed. If the circle's open, then we don't put the equal sign in, just greater than. But for the sake of this demonstration, everything's going to be equal to the end point. So the domain is the red one here. Now the set of values you get out are the blue ones here. So the set of values we get are from minus 3 to 7. So anything between minus 3 and 7. And the domain here is from minus 2 to 3. Now with these sliders, I can actually change the domain. Right, so if I change the domain a little bit to make it a little bit smaller, okay, I've now got a domain from minus 1 to 2, and the range shortens from uh, minus 1 to 5, okay, so again, if I change B if I want to, and I can change A if I want to. Now, you've got to be a bit careful if the function maybe, say, is a quadratic, so let's do this a quadratic. Let's just lower the lower this down a little bit. I need to lower that up a little bit. Okay, right. In this case, I've got the function f of x is equal to x squared. Now the domain here will be from minus two to three. However, the range will be only from 0 to 9. It doesn't actually, it's not like 4 to 9. The domain in this one is going to be from 0 to 9. If I now put in a minus 2, for example, x squared minus 2, okay, the domain from, my, uh, if the domain is from minus 2 to 3, then the range is going to be from the lowest point here, minus 2, to the maximum point here, of 7. Okay, so you just need to be very careful when you've sort of got a bit of a quadratic. If we move B, for example, all right, now look, B is now at this point here. So B, the range, uh, the domain, sorry, is from minus 2 to 1.5. However, the range is going to be from minus 2 to 2. And if I, I can the other way around. Okay, here we've got from minus 3 to 1.5, but the range is going to be from minus 2 to 7. And I can move this around here if you wanted to. So now I've got a domain from minus 3 to minus 1. So these are called restricted domains, and the range will go from minus 1 to 7. We've got to just be careful if we've like got a minimum point. like that and now we've just got an equal from minus 3 to 3 and from my, a range from minus 2 to 7. So this this applet here which is in the uh, notes of the video is to help you find the domain which we write like this as a, in curly brackets and the range which we write like this one so we use x for the domain or and f of x or y for the range but everything goes into curly bracket and what we're saying is that we can put in any number between minus 3 and 3 and any number from minus 2 from 7 including the endpoints will be included if the endpoint is an open circle then we just don't put the equal sign in okay so there's been a video to show you about the domain and range from a graph thank you for watching